Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm readings. And let's begin. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what messages comes through. Okay, let's see what messages comes in today. Oh, it looks like, um, oh, there's three things I see here. So I see something about um, Divine Masculine wanting to make a forward movement, but at the same time, he is stuck in some sort of, um, not really stuck, but it, sh it shows like in the middle of the movement, but then it's like, <laughs> it, it's not a clear flow of movement. It's like, like um delay it feels like a delay or some kind of um uh feels like the, the divine mask is trying to go forward but it's difficult can you imagine like pedaling on a bike but the the chain is not like connected properly and you're just like trying to turn the pedal that's what it that's what it feels like that's what i see here something about divine mask and wanting to move forward but it's kind of like stuck 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 it's not like a easy flow of movement. I see here it has to do with the old cycle because the old cycle, the divine masculine has a lot of um. Oh, so is a lot of uh, inner work. Okay, so the old cycle that is connected to divine masculine has to do with a lot of inner work that the divine masculine um needs to needs to um it's like needs to work out or to help restore there's something about um, being hurt this divine masculine is hurt in some sort of way some kind of pain within the divine masculine that they are not healing from or they choose not to to um acknowledge it so i feel like because of not acknowledging the pain this divine masculine is delaying themselves from healing from the pain and because of that they are they are delaying the um the transition from the old to the new because they are still stuck in the in parts of the old cycle that needs to be resolved needs to be healed shows here that the divine masculine is being protected by the divine this divine um is trying to show divine masculine kind of like the way synchronicity signs uh, there's a, still a little bit of an immaturity here for this divine masculine, meaning that he's still in, is still starting to grow um, in his spiritual uh, awakening. It shows here being alert, being aware, but at the same time not fully aware yet. It's like in the the earlier stages of his uh, true awakening. There is um there is a divine intervention here in this reading. This is to help divine masculine learn about their journey, learn about their path, and learn and recognize the divine feminine. Divine feminine is very strong here. I see divine feminine is um is is very alert about uh, which direction they need to go. I see divine feminine as somebody who is very conscious, very conscious about. Um, their surroundings, uh, what what energy that they're currently in, um, even if it is like, say, if there's a sudden like um, drop in in the way they feel about themselves or emotionally, something like that, something about emotion, emotions, um, sadness. If there's a sudden change in their mood, emotions, this divine feminine. Um, does not overlook it. They are consciously aware and they are consciously aware of the emotions that they feel. They question it. They observe. Um, I see here that with this divine intervention for divine masculine to 
learn more about self and about the connection between them and divine feminine, they will find themselves very lucky and blessed to be in this connection. Once this divine masculine starts to know more about divine feminine and what divine feminine means to them, and not only mean to them, but who they are to them, uh, it shows that it is a, it's, what I see is that once this divine masculine starts to become more aware, it's going to be uh, energetically exhausting. It's kind of like, say if somebody is walking and all of a sudden they are told to run, you know, run for miles, for, for hours. And this person is not used to running. This person is used to walking. So there is an exhaustion here, but it comes with the information that the divine masculine will absorb. The information, it's like the inputs, the downloads, the, the knowledge that this Divine Maskin obtains about not only the connection, but the, um, I feel like it has to do with the energy body as well. That when this Divine Maskin absorbs en energy and uh, the downloads from the Divine, they are going to physically feel the exhaustion because they are in that physical form, the body, the human body, right? So... They are all connected. And I see here that it's going to, we are first talking about that difficulty of the movement with this. Um, I feel like this knowledge about um, the connection itself, the downloads that this divine masculine receives, the transformation, that transitioning is going to be a little bit exhaustion for this divine masculine. When Divine Masculine starts to learn more and more about the truth, meaning their connection with Divine Feminine, what it means, that this is something that is more of Divine, Divine Masculine will be removing things from their, their way of living, things that do not serve their Divine path. They will feel guided to um, remove things. So I see something about Stepping into the new and letting go of the old. Stepping into the new and letting go of things that do not serve in any way. So serve a purpose or um, is not beneficial in any way. Something that may have even kept Divine Maskin held back somehow. So I see here the need to let go of certain things because there's that knowing that they need to let go of the past so that they can move forward, so they can rebuild or I see something about um, um, to grow. Again, transformation here. It shows again about this Divine Masculine's transformation. How it's going to be a very um, tough cycle for this Divine Masculine to experience. Because there's a lot of heaviness and... and um, feels like um, some sort of burden having to do with the feelings that are deeply rooted within this Divine Masculine's heart, being trapped in some sort of emotions that the Divine Masculine chose not to experience or acknowledge because they didn't want to feel the feelings. Um, some of these feelings also involve jealousy. I see jealousy here for this Masculine. This jealousy has to do with... Um, it's strange because in some cases, this divine masculine is jealous of the feminine. I don't think it's directly about the divine feminine. I feel it has to do with the way divine feminine handles self. Because divine feminine is so strong here. I see somebody who has, oh, this is what it is. Because you have so much self-love, divine feminine. Divine Feminine, you have so much self-love. A lot of you are recognized, are seen for your uniqueness. And it's I don't feel this jealousy is directly is directed at Divine Feminine. It has to do with your life. Meaning that if there are people around the Divine Feminine that praise the Divine Feminine, that admire Divine Feminine, that that see your uniqueness, that see how beautiful you are, right? They know how genuine you are. They love you. They care for you. 
The divine masculine is jealous of that because they are not a part of that. And at the same time, they are also feeling left out because they don't feel that about themselves. So another thing I see here is that this divine masculine is trying to be in that power, that strength that the divine feminine has always been. They feel that you have always been strong from the time they met you, even the time of separation. They feel that you remain strong. It's like nothing can shake this divine feminine. This feminine is very strong and and I feel like this divine masculine tried to be. They tried to give the image off as if they were strong, but this is somebody who who knows and who feels that they were never at that place where divine feminine was at at that time, but currently the energy that divine feminine is in because you are at your I feel like at your highest vibration, you are the strongest you have ever been. This is my mask and it's like, hmm, I really need to um, see what I need to see because this is my mask and was avoiding those feelings in the beginning. There, There's wisdom here. I see wisdom about recognizing what love really is, understanding what love is about. Wishing and praying. This divine mask is really praying really wishing and praying that they have a chance with the divine feminine that they have that chance for true love there is this longing for a commitment there is a longing to be with somebody who is genuine that understand what a relationship right i don't feel it has to do relationship meaning the 3d relationship but that connection of being um loyal and devoted to each other right? Because you two are connected in the 5D. So having that unity in the 3D, this divine masculine is longing for that. Shows something about um, not being fully aware at the time in the past, what he had before him, being, um, being in a place of confusion, feeling lost, always seeking for more. This is a divine masculine who was not oh, not happy with what they had. They always felt they needed to look for more, go out there and find more. Um, more, I feel it has to do with not about, um, not about love, but overall, like overall um, life, lifestyle, not being content, not being grateful or having gratitude for what they ha currently had at the time. So having that um, urge to always find something bigger or better or something like that. So this was a masculine who was um, just, I feel like in that energy of um, not really understanding what it is to be loved or to feel loved or to have self-love, but it took time for this divine masculine to um, understand and now in this reading I see here that urge to move forward but it's not a it's not a smooth flow it's just like um, being stuck in some sort of way so there is that delay here so this is a reading for today I hope you like this reading if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel leave a comment below and thank you all for watching have a great day bye everyone